Here's a short explanation of the dice game, Pass the Pigs. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's start with some basics. The game from Winning Moves is for two to more players ages six and up. The average game time is 10 to 20 minutes, with the objective of the game to be the first to score 100 points. What's in the box? You got the travel case, pencil, two pigs, scorecard, and the scoring cheat sheet. To set up, one player needs to be selected as the scorekeeper. Place the scoring cheat sheet on the table so that all players can be reminded of how the scoring works. Next, choose a player to be first, and then play will continue clockwise around the table. On a player's turn, they take the two pigs and toss them in the air above the table, much like how one would roll dice. Depending on how the pigs land will determine how many points are for the roll. Here's a breakdown of the different scoring positions. The cider is when both pigs land on matching sides, so both sides with the dot or both sides without the dot. Either way is worth one point for the roll. The trotter is where one pig is on its side and the other pig is on all four feet. It is worth five points for this roll. The double trotter is where both pigs land on their feet. It's worth 20 points for the roll. The razorback is where one pig is on its side and the other pig is lying on its back. This roll is worth five points. The double razorback is where both pigs are lying on their backs. It's worth 20 points for this roll. A snouter is where one pig is lying on its side and the other lands on its front two feet and nose. This is worth 10 points for the roll. The double snouter is when both pigs are in the snouter position. This roll is worth 40 points. A leaning jowler is where one pig lands on its side and the other lands on a combination of one foot, the nose, and the ear. This roll is worth 15 points. The double leaning jowler is the rarest of rolls. It's where both pigs land in the leaning jowler position. This roll is worth 60 points. A mixed combo is where the two pigs are in different positions except for laying on its side. So for an example, a razorback and a trotter would be worth five points for each pig. The roll is worth 10 points. Or a snouter and a trotter, this would be worth 15 points, and so on. Now, there are some bad rolls that you will want to avoid in this game. First, there is the pig out. This is where your two pigs land on opposite sides, one dot up and one dot down. When this happens, you lose all points acquired in the turn and your turn is over, you must pass the pigs. Next is Macon Bacon. This is when two pigs are touching each other in any position. The player loses all points accumulated for the game. It's back to zero and your turn is over, you must pass the pigs. Finally, there is the piggyback. This is an undignified position and gets you eliminated from the game entirely. You must pass the pigs. So after a player makes their first roll, so long as it's not one of the three bad rolls, they have a decision to make. To keep what points they have acquired and pass the pigs, or be a pig and go for more points. If the player decides to pass the pigs, the scorekeeper writes down their total score for that roll to the scorecard and those points are safe unless the player rolls make and bacon on a future roll. If the player decides to be a pig, they continue to roll until they decide to pass the pigs where all points rolled for the turn are collected or until they roll a pig out or other turn ending rolls. The first player to collect 100 points is the winner of the game. It's a simple and easy on-the-go game, and now you know the basics, so let's play.